Some dramatic scenes coming into us uh, from Dublin. There's buses set on fire, there's police cars set on fire, the Garda out in force saying that uh, a hooligan element, they're calling them far-right thugs, but of course uh, that would be what they would call them. Uh, the reason for the riot, and it's a mini riot, it has to be said, uh, is because there was a stabbing that took place this afternoon outside a school. Three children uh, on the, under the age of six were stabbed. One of them has now apparently been released, but one is still in hospital with some very severe injuries. You can see the violence on the streets there. Uh, there's a migrant hostel believed to be being set on fire as well. Um, the Garda are trying to fight back, but it's running battles in the streets of Dublin uh, with people just saying enough is enough. One of the people um, who actually is in um, position in hospital is the assailant himself. The Garda said they're not looking for anybody else. And the reason for this particular outrage uh, is because they're saying um, the people got word that the man in question who has been arrested uh, or is wanted in, in connection with the stabbing is in fact an Algerian migrant. We have not been able to confirm that yet. But don't forget, you can get in touch with the show on all the socials at Talk TV and on the phones, 0344 499 1000 calls cost national rate, of course. Uh, Peter Whittle joins me in the studio, uh, the founder of the New Culture Forum. Peter, a very, very good evening to Morning, you. Welcome. Um, Afternoon. Evening. Evening, even. Evening. Yeah, I know. It's hard to keep up, isn't it? Um, it's all kicking off in, in Dublin. We've got mm. migration things to talk about. We've got the whole situation with um, with the hostages to talk about as well. Let's just start with, with what's happening in Dublin. Mm. Lots of people cr uh, crying out and saying, you know, enough is enough. They've had a big problem with migration in mm. Dublin um, and in, in, in the Republic of Ireland over and the last few years, haven't they? Yes, and op opposition to it. I think, yeah. as you quite, you know, rightly pointed out, we don't, we're not confirmed yet mm. as to, you know, the... the we don't know if, if the fight. assailant is indeed as he has been painted. We always have to say that, but in a way, it's beside the point, because when you have a situation like we have now, and I know we're going to talk about migration figures, but when yeah. you have a situation uh, which is as heightened as it is, and when people feel, I would say, powerless mm. as well, when they don't feel listened to, quite rightly, and they should be listened to on these issues, yeah. um, they start to jump to conclusions. And... Frankly, there's a fair amount of ground for the conclusions yeah. they jump to. Well, I mean, let's just see Suella Braverman's statement tonight. She obviously was Home Secretary and saw very recently. She laid out what she wanted to do in order to try and stop the flood of people coming in, both legally and illegally. Um, she says tonight that uh, the immigration figures that we've seen coming into Britain, 725,000 um, nets, yeah. if you like, um, basically is a slap in the face to the British public. And she said, when is somebody going to say enough is enough? Well, people said enough is enough a very long time ago, right? What it is, it's the government and it is the civil service and all of these people, they're the ones who have to call a halt to it. Your average person in the street thought enough was enough a long time ago, Mike. The fact is people have, over the past 30 years nearly, they have never, ever been consulted about what has amounted to a major change mm. in the nature of their country. Right. And it's becoming clearer and clearer. In fact, it's sort of speeding up. I think what woke a lot of people up were those demonstrations that we saw recently in London, yes. you know, the big demonstrations. Well, I think that's kind of galvanised a lot of people, yes. hasn't it? Because people have said, this doesn't look like the London that I knew. This doesn't look... You and I have had this conversation yeah. before. Yeah. You know, these people rampaging through London, particularly the weekend of Armistice Day. Mm. You know, this does not look like a British protest. Yes, it wasn't actually just about uh, Gaza, uh, Palestinians and, and Israel. It was also a, a complete disregard, an insult to British traditions. Yes, yeah, totally. In that case, remember... By people who clearly couldn't give a stuff about British traditions. Uh, if that's even if they know much about yeah. it. Yeah. Um, they're not encouraged to know anything about it. Mm. Um, I think the thing is, Mike, that, that when you see these these kind of figures, and the one from last year was, has now been revised up, so the latest one we have will doubtless be revised up again. These are net figures. Yes, Remember of course. That? Yeah, net figures. Uh, we very rarely get told about the sort of people who are actually leaving. Um, almost never get to hear about that. Uh, these are net figures. 1.2 million, I think, growth. Yeah. Which it was last year as well, wasn't it? Exactly. Yeah. These, um, if we want our country to survive in any recognisable form, this simply has got to stop. I yeah. mean, basically, I think all mass migration should 
be ended, at least for a period. Yes, I think so. We'll come back to that story because it's going to be something that we focus on an awful lot of the show tonight because not only do we know that uh, migration numbers are going up despite what all the hu human rights lawyers told us, oh, it was all about uh, Ukraine, it was all about uh, people coming here from Hong Kong. Well, it wasn't. And it's about people staying longer and it's about people bringing more dependence with them. But first of all, before we carry on with that conversation and bring you more uh, from the streets of Dublin, where I'm told the army is now parading on the streets, patrolling on the streets, and the centre of Dublin has now been locked down because of this protest currently going on. 